Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Mawahib. So in today's video, I really want to talk about 464 Wax. I was really wondering what videos I should film for you guys. So I looked back at my old videos and I realized that I have a video about 464, but it was only a three minute clip. I wasn't really explaining much. I just showed you guys basically how I was making the candles. So I thought this is an updated version of 464 Wax, but with a twist. So what I mean by that is basically I made some candles with 464 wax but I also mixed it with other waxes as well. Please make sure that you click on that subscribe button down below and give this video a huge thumbs up if you like it. Without further ado, let's just get straight into this video. So I've cured my candles for six days. If you guys want to cure your candles for longer, you can do that. So the first candle that I have right here is a 464 candle mixed with 10% of A05 and I did use 8% fragrance load for all my candles and for this uh, candle container in particular I used two TB8 wicks and let me just show you the results up close so this is uh, the top of the candle as you guys can see there I have wrinkles and the A05 tends to do that and my candle did pull away as you guys can see here I have candle pullaways or wet spots whatever you guys want to call it so let's just move on to the next candle so the next candle is 464 and 10% of Eco Cocoa. So let me show you the upfront. And the wick that I used is TCR 1810. And the fragrance oil of choice is mango and papaya. And look at this gorgeous top, you guys. This is a beautiful top. However, I did get wet spots or pillowways all over my candle. Eco Cocoa does have really bad glass adhesion. So I'm guessing that Eco Cocoa actually made it have, um, made it react in that way. So with the third candle, I did 464 obviously with a 20% of carousel wax. I have a beautiful top but I did get pillowways on my candle as you guys can see there. For the last candle surprisingly I actually did not expect my 464 to have a good glass adhesion. I have amazing glass adhesion you guys. Look at that glass adhesion and look at that top. I would expect to have rough tops with my 464 and bad glass adhesion but I got a really good top as you guys can see there and I got amazing glass adhesion. By the way before I forget I do want to point out Two of my candles that I used mango and papaya fragrance oil actually discolored my wax. The mango and papaya fragrance oil from Cozy Owl, the liquid of it is actually a pretty orangey and yellow color so it tinted my wax in comparison to two of the candles where I used gardenia fragrance oil and it just kept my wax the normal white color that it should be. Sometimes when you do use fragrance oils or essential oils in your candles it tends, uh, depending on how dark the liquid is, it tends to tint your wax. So if that does happen to you don't worry you haven't done anything wrong it's just the fragrance oil tinting your wax which is completely normal i'm going to light all the candles up so we can burn test it together and while they're burning i'm going to come back on here on camera so we can talk about the details of 464 wax so i'll see you guys in a bit in terms of colther by the way i got a good colther for all of the candles for the 464 candle i'd love my colther to be a little bit stronger i was getting about a six and a half out of ten colther with my 464 in comparison to all my other candles where i was actually getting a good eight out of ten colther so i am at supplies for candles um website right now that's where i got my 464 wax but basically golden 464 is a soy wax designed for container candles it contains a soy additive to reduce use frosting. Four temperatures should be reasonably high at 57 degrees celsius depending on your container. You can heat up 464 to up to 90 degrees celsius. It wouldn't have any effect as long as the wax cools down really quickly. I don't recommend heating up your wax until 90 degrees celsius just to prevent any color discoloration. So try to go up to maximum 75 or 80 degrees celsius. It does say that higher temperatures may cause the wax to discolor. Allow the wax to cool down to your desired temperature. Add the fragrance at approximately 70 degrees celsius and mix well. Again, that's just a recommendation from a supplier. In terms of the pouring temperature, that's completely up to you. I would advise test as many pouring temperatures 
temperature as you can so you can find what works best for you so it does say here greater adhesion to containers can be achieved by pouring at temperature close to congealing point approximately 45 to 55 degrees celsius you guys can try pouring your candles at close to congealing point and see if that helps with glass adhesion and if your candle does pull away or achieve wet spots especially if you're using see-through containers don't worry about it honestly you guys it's only cosmetic it does not define the quality of your candle i can understand that it's so annoying to see on your candle but honestly it's just natural wax it just happens it reacts to temperatures temperatures are constantly changing in terms for wicks supplies for candles does recommend tcr wicks and eco wicks but of course test other wicks that you guys have available and in terms of containers some of us especially during winter months we do like to heat up our candle jars for better glass adhesion during winter if you do want to help your candle to have better glass adhesion then definitely go ahead and heat up your glass if it doesn't really bother you to have any wet spots then leave it as it is of course it's not really a problem all right so this is the first hour of burn testing the candles this is soy 464 and eco cocoa and i put the fahrenheit numbers i know those of you that watch me from the us you always tell me to put the fahrenheit numbers but i swear i forget because i'm so used to working with um degrees celsius so there's the fahrenheit numbers for you i literally added them before i started filming but this is the um eco cocoa and 464 and i love love the coconut wax is slowing the burn time of my wax I don't think it's gonna tunnel if we give it another hour maybe i will start getting into a full multiple but honestly i'm pretty happy with that let me just zoom in here a little bit i am getting a very very small mushrooming as you guys can see i think it's working very hard to melt the wax maybe because of the coconut wax i'm not too sure but it may be moving on this is the carasoy and 464 and I'm very happy with this one as well. It's definitely burning faster than that one. I do have a good flame height. It's not over two inches long, so it's not a dangerous flame. And it's pretty steady. It's not going left or right. Again, the window's open. I'm getting a bit more dancing here in comparison to here. I'm not getting any mushrooming or am I? I don't think I am. It's looking good so far. So let's move on to the next candles. Okay, so here is the 464 wax and this is 464 and A05. I am not getting a hot throw. I can't smell the gardenia at all. I'm not getting a hot throw from the 464 at all. Like I can't smell it. And these are the information if you guys are interested. Okay, so I think I, I spot something in common. I feel with the coconut waxes, my uh, wick is mushrooming pretty fast in comparison to just the 464 and the carousel 464. I'm not getting any mushrooming. So that is one similarity. I feel like the coconut wax is definitely mushrooming my wicks or maybe it's working extra hard to melt that wax and to give me a hot throw. But I definitely can't smell it at all. So yeah, that's the first hour check-in for the Gardenia. All right, you guys, and this is me checking back for hour number two. Sorry, it's a bit windy, so my flames are flickering. And um, I think I really, really like the way it's burning, especially that I'm not at full melt pool yet. I love the slow burning of it. And moving on, this is the Kerasoy and the 464. I started to get mushrooming here. And my flame is still nice and steady. I love that I still don't have a full melt pool. Love, love that, honestly. I still have some wax residue there. So I really like that. Let's move on to the next candles. As for these candles, I'm still not getting a hot throw. I can't smell my gardenia. My wick is mushrooming slightly. It's not too bad. And um, the A05 as well is mushrooming. Um, I would love to slow this wax down a little bit more. I feel like my melt pool is a bit too deep and i wouldn't wanted a full melt pour by the second hour burn i would love it to take its time a little bit more okay so this is the post burn results so this is the 464 and kerasoy i love love how slow burning it was first of all this is after four hours of burn time and i love how it has a bit of wax residue there because once the candle starts burning through towards the end all of that wax will eventually uh, melt through and i will have an increased burn time however i did get a dip as you guys can see it's pretty visible but other than that i have i think a pretty much um good top 
and moving on to the next one this is the 464 plus eco coco so this one is amazing i don't have any uh post burn rough tops um i love how slow it was when it was burning again i have just a slight wax residue there but that will that can all burn through just like the other candle here i really really love it and then moving on this is the a05 and 464 I did have really bad post burn rough tops here. I did expect it to be honest because the A05 does in general give post burn rough tops plus the 464 so I did expect that I'll get a bad post burn rough tops there. And then for the last candle which is the 464 it's very very bad. It doesn't look pretty but that's what I got but again I do love how slow burning it was. All right my love so I've shown you an idea of how the candles are burning i definitely think that mixing two different waxes can help um burn your wax slightly slower for example with the eco cocoa and the 464 as well as the carousel action that i'm really happy with i actually got the idea of mixing two waxes because i'm working with a wax that i've mentioned to you guys before and that i'm not going to mention until i test fully with it because there is little to no information about it and it and it's just a newly wax that just launched in the uk and i work a lot with a 30 centiliter candle container i think it's it's one of my favorite sizes and i wick it with two wicks so the reason why i wick with two wicks with my 30 centiliter because it's very hard to find it to find one wick that works perfectly for the candle for that container sorry so um that's why i decided to start double wicking but i really want my wax to burn very slowly that's why i decided why not just try mixing two different waxes but this time with 464 i really want to try it with a wax that i've been testing out I actually haven't tried it out with a new wax that i've been testing out but i thought let me just try it with a 464 first i do want to take the opportunity really quickly though and say thank you to maria for helping me out with my calculations and mixing two waxes um i was literally sat down for hours like with like sheets worth the paper of my calculation and i really wanted to make sure if i had the right calculation so that's when i contacted maria who is one of my subscribers we talk quite a bit actually so thank you very much for your help i know i thanked you on my dms but i thought i'd thank you here as well you know the mango and papaya is a citrus smell and it smells very strong i'm sorry i know you can hear the sirens okay now now it's gone um and mango and papaya from cozy i was a pretty it's a pretty strong citrus smell i was really worried i'll be getting like a very orangey smell but honestly i think the smell when it's burning is very subtle and not as strong as when you first smell it outside of the um a bottle which i'm really happy with i really love like a very subtle citrus rather than an overpowering citrus uh, burning all right my love so i think that is it for today's video i definitely had fun mixing two waxes this is my first time mixing wax waxes i'm not experienced in it this is just a trial and error with you guys another video another experiment for you so um definitely do try it out if you like and see if that would make a difference in your candle testing with that being said thank you very much for watching thank you very much as always for your support and by the way happy first anniversary because it's been officially one year that we are on youtube so happy anniversary you guys i'm so happy and hopefully many more years to come and many more experiences and many more just many more of everything so thank you very much for your support we're literally over 700 subscribers a year in anyway please make sure you click on that subscribe button down below give this video a huge thumbs up comment down below on what videos you'd like to see from me in the future and please don't forget to turn your post notifications on so you guys can get notified every time i post with that being said i'll see you in my next video bye guys